Hey guys, King of the North here. Um, I'm going to do a quick installation guide for you guys. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, we have the 162 uh, version for our mod, and that is out, and that's the latest version, and it comes in two parts. And if you want the freelancer um, um, like add-on to where you can play as a soldier in one of the uh, Lord's armies, uh, you can download the optional patch which I'll walk through with you. Alright, so anyway, for starters uh, we want to make sure that you have your Bandalord directory open. It should look like this. To where you see your mods folder, music, shaders, sounds, and all that fun stuff. This is your Bandalord directory. Just want that right there. Alright, and so then you want to download part 1 and part 2 from Nexus and I think mine are still actually uploading right now onto the Nexus page but I already have them here so you want to open up part one and then you're going to get this pop up just close that out and make sure that you have you know some sort of RAR opener or extractor I use one more same as everyone else in the world just kidding but um anyway so once you have part one open you want to grab your bin GUI and modules folder. And then you can just click and hold and drag over to this area right here until you see the little plus sign and then just let go. But I'm not going to let go because I already have it. And then um, you can close this out, minimize it, but I'm going to close it out. And then you open up part two and it's the same song and dance grab the modules folder and just bring it right into the directory until you see the plus sign and the empty spot and just release and then it'll ask you to replace and just hit yes um, and so for the load order uh, I provided an image so we have GT Armory, uh, GT Armory 2, 3, 4 throne rooms, GT code uh, code forge and then if you do have freelancer and you want to use it freelancer goes at the very bottom um, and so for that I'll show you how we're actually going to install that it's the same thing so close that out so I already have the freelancer mod installed so this is the freelancer mod oh where is it at there you go freelancer template and so what you want to do is open up after you have it downloaded from the uh, mod author and, and their page, you want to come to our page and open up the Flanter mod um, patch, and you're going to see the same um, uh, folder titled the same. So if we were back where we were in our directory, uh, we want to make sure that we take this freelancer template that's in the TOTSK freelancer patch. I'm going to open up the modules folder. And this is the only one you do this for, just for the patch. And place the freelancer template um, somewhere, anywhere really, inside your um, Banner uh, modules folder. Try to open this up a little bit more. So you just pretty much take it. Make sure you don't drop it inside of a mod folder, because that'd be a big no no. But just put it in any empty spot. Or if you really want to be safe, go up here and you can just hover over modules and it'll drop it in there as well and just hit replace and you'll be good to go so uh, back to the load order we open up part one so we're good there close all this out all right so load order like I said before GT armory GT armory 2 GT armory 3 4 throne rooms GT code forge and freelancer template and if you want a written step-by-step -step guide, there is one in both part one and part two. It tells you the same things that we had before, or that I mentioned before. Um, and this goes into a little bit more detail. So for instance, if you had a previous version of the mod, um, it's always a good practice to just delete the old mod folders. Um, because since this is an overhaul, and there's constantly uh, major changes, or changes happening, I'm always going to um, make sure that it's it's almost like a clean install. So anyway, so we want to take 
the uh, if you had a previous version of the mod, say you had 1.6.0 installed, you want to make sure before you install uh, the 1.6.2 version, make sure you delete uh, the Dorn Armor Pack, GT Armory, and GT Armory 2. Those are usually the main ones. Um, uh, and you can delete GT Armory 3 or delete all of them, but it's com it's completely up to you what you uh, what you want to do. Um, but I just delete all of them to be safe, all the previous files. So we want to close that out. Okay, so now that we installed part one and part two, let's launch the game. And this is the biggest thing that people miss, the most simplest step. Select mods, because you can't just hit play yet. Select mods, scroll down. All right, so this is what our load order should look like if you don't have any other mods except for what's in the mod folder. Make sure that these are highlighted. The game is going to look like this when you first put the mod folders in. Make sure you highlight them just like that and activate them by clicking. Um, and obviously, Harmony is also um, included as well, so we have to make sure that's highlighted. And that's at the very, very top. Always. So I'm going to say it again. Make sure you have these activated. Go through and click through them. Just like that. This is activated right here. This means we're good to go. Alright. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed the mod. Hopefully this is helpful. Um, and I will see you guys on the other side. King out.